Hello everybody, this is Bui from Mama Bui's Kitchen. I hope you are having a great day. Today guys, I'm making one of the most popular French dessert, creme caramel. This is a slightly lighter version of the traditional recipe. It's got a lighter consistency and more of a silky texture. So guys, let's get started. You know Mama We doesn't like to waste time. So here are the ingredients you will need for creme brulee. You'll need whole eggs, egg yolks, sugar. It's divided amongst two bowls, guys. You'll need whole milk, whipping cream, and water. So let's get started. Put three quarters of a cup of the sugar in a small heavy pan with the water to moisten it. What we are doing here, guys, we are creating what we call wet caramel. A wet caramel is melted with water, then cooked. Because sugar is partially water, heat liquefies it. Also, by adding water, it helps the sugar distribute more evenly around the pan so it will melt and caramelize easily. Swell the pan to dissolve the sugar boil without stirring for four to five minutes until the syrup turns medium amber color now guys let's move on to work on our custard immediately pour the caramel into ramekins the caramel will harden quickly so you have to be fast guys now let's move on to work on our custard Add the milk and cream and bring just to the boil over medium high heat. As soon as the bubble starts forming on the edges of the pan, our milk is ready. In a bowl, whisk the eggs and egg yolks with the remaining sugar for two to three minutes until creamy. Now we're going to switch to the whisk. Slowly add the hot milk to the eggs a little bit at a time and whisk fast and constantly. What we are doing here guys is called tempering eggs. It's a process of slowly warming eggs before introducing them to hot milk so they mix smoothly. If you just pour all the hot milk and stir in eggs, you'll end up with little scrambled egg beads in milk instead of a smooth mixture. Carefully strain the mixture into the measuring cup. Add vanilla extract and mix well. Divide the mixture among the ramekins. Pour enough water into the roasting pan to come halfway up the sides of the ramekins. Cover with foil. Then we're gonna bake the custard for 40 to 45 minutes until just set. Remove the roasting pan and cool for at least 30 minutes then chill overnight. Carefully run a sharp knife around edges of the ramekins. Just like so guys. Cover with a serving plate, hold together tightly and invent. Lift one edge of the dish, allowing the caramel to run out, then remove the dish. There you have it guys, creme caramel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please guys, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Until next time guys, 
Bye. Honey for my heart.